About 466 million people are deaf or hard of hearing in the world. That's according to the World Health Organization. Nearly 10 million of those people live in the United States. And now one woman from our area tells us her obstacles getting through life every day. News 8 Now's Tyler Job has a story. If you are watching this story, most of us can hear what I'm telling you. But there are some who can rely only on words seen at the bottom of the screen. Here at News 8 Now, we give you the most important information every single day. And for those who are deaf or hard of hearing, that's why we have closed captioning for all of our stories. And sometimes that isn't even good enough. Most deaf people don't understand that. Evie Seifert, who was born deaf, says she mostly relies on the news reading on her phone. Most deaf people grew up, um, they used the first time time language. Um, so their English is not perfect. She says in a regular conversation, she can read lips. Someone can make a call for me, I'll have my daughter. So she's hearing. But with the pandemic going on, it's a lot tougher for her to communicate with others. With the math, I can't read lips. So she often turns to TV news for most important information about COVID-19. It's nice because on the news, if I watch TV, they have an interpreter. That interpreter is Colleen Kudo, someone we often see at the county health department's press conferences. The biggest thing for me that I hold extremely, I have a strong feeling towards is that um, honesty, clarity and accuracy. When I'm interpreting, I take the information and I actually change it around. Colleen is a veteran of sign language. I've been doing the interpreting for about 34 years. Like most of us, she's learning something new every day during the pandemic. It can be a challenge because there are signs that weren't necessarily set up for COVID-19 when this all came about. Interpreting can also be tough on her physically and mentally. Headaches, um, you also get really fatigued. But Continue she doesn't regret doing what she does. I gain relationships with my deaf community. Um, they become friends. When Evie moved to Sparta in 2011. I needed an interpreter because I was new to the area. It didn't take her long to find Colleen. And um, I found out about her and she been my interpreter for years. She was there for my daughter's birth. So um, I know her for a while, she's great. Evie and Colleen may be separate from each other when the news is on, but they always have a bond to share. In La Crosse, Tyler Job, News 8 Now. And Colleen Kudo has been interpreting for 34 years now.